Okay, look. If the Academy can wait three months into the new year to talk about the very best of media from the previous year, well, I can too. This is Best of the Year 2022. Okay, it's no contest what the best video game of 2022 was. Elden Ring. Elden Ring was the latest From Software game, the same makers of the Dark Souls series. A series that never really struck a chord with me. They're perfectly fine games, but not my cup of tea. So back when Elden Ring was revealed and everyone got on the hype train for it, I just kind of happily waved and wished everybody good luck. I didn't particularly care about this game. <laughs> but as the game's release became closer and closer, I was advised to check it out, and it was one of the best decisions I've made in a while. Elden Ring rules for all of the reasons everyone has been praising it over the past year. The world is dense and full of secrets, and the way you can tailor your character to however you like to play is truly magical. The game, in a nutshell, is just fun. It's fun to ride your trusty steed. It's fun to fight the various enemies that all feel unique. Finding bits and pieces of the story, the world, new characters, and find out their story is fun. Now, none of this is new to the gaming community. We've been doing this for years with plenty of other games. But the way Elden Ring perfects all of these elements and game mechanics is nothing short of remarkable. The studio from software took everything you like to do in a video game, particularly in an action adventure game, and ensured that that mechanic was enjoyable for the player. And they did that with every single mechanic in the game. So no matter if you're a hardcore gamer just looking for the most demanding boss to fight, or if you're just a player who wants to have this underdog hero become a legend, or an Elden Lord, if you will, and have all of their actions and rise to power be because of you, you can do that in Elden Ring. The game wants you to chart your own path and to have you have fun the entire way there. If you're looking for a challenging, rewarding game where you can explore to your heart's content, charting out your next excellent gaming conquest, Elden Ring is the right game for you. Okay, I'm gonna be a little bit of a hipster. I don't even know if people talk about hipsters anymore, but I liked Bluey before it was cool. Bluey is an Australian children's show about the Healer family, a family of dogs who live in a dog world. So over the years, I've always had a love for animation. No matter how old I was or how young I was, children's cartoons, cartoons geared towards girls, cartoons geared towards boys, um, cinematic animation, adult comedies, anime, and everything in between, I've always enjoyed and gone out of my way to check it out. Eventually, Bluey came along my path, and I caught a few episodes, and I thought the show was charming and great for children. And for a while, that was it. I mean, the show doesn't talk down to kids or make them feel unintelligent. It also teaches good lessons and morals in a way that children can find relatable. But I didn't really give it too much thought. That was until 2022 when uh, the internet was just completely dominated with bluey fever. That's when I dived in. And I found that under this show marketed towards young kids, it has so much to offer for families and adults alike. Seeing a family that is so sweet and genuine, while also seeing the same family be clumsy and imperfect and silly, being perfectly regular, just like the rest of us. Bluey is a show made by families for families. These are families who care about what their kids are watching, who want to show kids new ways to play and grow and experience the good and bad of life. At the same time, adults can see the everyday life of being a parent. You have rough days, you have fun days, you have days that bring up old wounds and topics that your child might not be ready to discuss. 
but it prepares you for that day. And in the meantime, the show reminds us to enjoy our time with our little Bluey or Bingo. Or if you have a muffin, enjoy your time with her too. Cherish the time that you have as a kid or as a parent. Bluey is something incredibly special and I highly recommend it. And it is something so special, I hope it doesn't go anywhere anytime soon. And I doubt that it will, because it is a global phenomenon. Okay, so I don't think my movie of 2022 is as cut and dry as uh, my video game or even TV show for that matter. Because throughout 2022, I kept seeing movies that made me go, oh, well, that's the best movie I've seen all year. Everything Everywhere All at Once is quite possibly the most creative movie I've ever seen. Top Gun Maverick was such a solid movie and worthy of its Best Picture nomination. Nope, I think is Jordan Peele's best movie yet, and was almost my pick, along with Puss in Boots' uh, The Last Wish, but I saw it way later uh, when I was writing and making this video. My movie of the year comes from my favorite director who has once again captured my heart with another whodunit mystery. I'm of course talking about Glass Onion, a Knives Out mystery. Glass Onion is the latest outing by Ryan Johnson, now three-time champ of Scotty Mulad's Best of the Year, and it's a continuation of the Benoit Blanc mysteries that started in 2019's Knives Out. This time, an eclectic group of socialites are invited to a murder mystery party, and Detective Blanc finds himself among them and realizes that there could be trouble in paradise. Like its predecessor, Glass Onion flips the script on a whodunit mystery, highlighting the players in the mystery rather than the mystery itself, much like a glass onion. Something that seems densely layered, mysterious, and inscrutable, but in fact, the center is hidden right in plain sight. Everything you need to know is right there. So if the mystery is on the back burner, then what's so great about the movie? Well, other than the cinematography, the music, and the writing, all done by the fantastic crew of Steven Yeldon, uh, Nathan Johnson, and so many more who frequently collaborate with Ryan Johnson, it's the characters and setting. Glass Onion is a biting critique on the upper class, tech billionaires, conservative online mouthpieces, snobby actors, and COVID deniers showing the sheer lunacy of these people with power and showing who the real heroes are, those at the bottom. With United States political discourse at an ever-growing high following the time of the 2020 pandemic, this movie couldn't have arrived at a better time, and all of these elements really worked for me. Glass Onion reinforces my love for Ryan Johnson and his work. He has an ear and eye for storytelling unlike anyone else out there, and his team is equally as talented as he is. Working together, they all make stories that really, really resonate with me and just shines my interests and my values and uh, my humor. Um, and clearly, uh, it does the same for a multitude of other people, because both these movies, Knives Out and Glass Onions, have been... Glass Onions? Both these movies have been enormous successes, and I cannot wait for the third Benoit Blanc mystery movie. And so there you have it. That's the best of 2022!